no doubt about it, by Joaquin Buckley. That's you mean Impa? Yes. Yeah, Impa. Yeah, you know, I mean, it's all part of growing. It sucks. He has to be someone's highlight reel, but he's he's ready to come back. He's ready to not be known as that guy. And I mean, look how physically fit both of these guys are. This is going to be a banger right here. They both are musicians. Fun fact: they both, both play yeah. two inner instruments. That's funny. So I mean, after they can make wow. the concert, these guys are going to throw. These guys are banging. Impa's There's no feeling out with yes. that left hook. Oh, oh nice right, right hand. hand. Let's go, Impa. Oh, oh, and that just barely missed. You see the hands lowered by Jared Gooden, and Impa's finding that range. He's not letting. He's not letting Jared Gooden get in his flow. I mean, right now he is a little bit. He has to keep that pressure on, in my opinion. Kasangani just making it. Kasangani. Kasangani. <laughs> you guys will get it. Yeah, Impa, Impa, <laughs> Impa's name is uh, it's not the easiest. But Impa's looking amazing. He's coming forward. He's got good head movement. He's throwing it. But now uh, Gooden Ooh. is kind of getting in his flow. Yeah, you know what? We talked about it before. Like, there's a danger yeah. with fighters who do have that movement style with their heads down. It does mean that, that, that when they get hit, they can get hit really hard. But Jared Gooden has done a great job of adapting that style and making it work for him. Because Songhai is being patient too. He thought he just took a left. He just took a left to the lower mandible, lower jaw. But he's being patient. Yeah, I mean, this fight is just delivering right now. These guys are swinging for the fences. That is a lot of muscle in there. Between the both of them, they have eight UFC fights. Huh, these boys are huge. <laughs> I didn't realize how big either of them were until I saw them in person. Yeah, they, there is no doubt they hydrate up. Yeah, the legs on, the legs on Impa. Yeah, I he's wish, ripped. I wish he would kick more. <laughs> Jared trying that jab to the body. Song and I stalking. Oh, gets him with the nice left, left hand. Oh, oh Ippa hit him on, with Ippa. the left hand. Look at Gooden trying to hold on. He gets himself to his feet. Yeah, that was a good hit, but good job on Jared Gooden to get back to his feet, grab a hold of him, slow down the entourage of punches. We told you how tough it is for Jared Gooden to get finished. Only one time in 27 fights, he switches levels and goes for the takedown on Kasong and I. Yeah, you have to wonder how much he's recovered from that, though, because he definitely got dropped in that combo and then held on for dear life. Thankfully, got the body lock and used it to stand back up. Nice hip toss but has by he, Impa. Has he got his legs back under him? Is, yeah. he, is he lucid? Is he in this? His eyes are wide right now. And Kasung and I, with that, as you said, Ian, use those hips, but also that whizzer. Yeah, I mean, he, he definitely got the attention of Jared Gooden, but great job by him to stop the, the, the punches coming in, grab a hold of them, turn it into a wrestling match so he can recover, and now they're back on their feet. Yeah, you're 100% right. And I love that input almost just got a finish, and oh. he's still staying patient. He pawed with him with that right hand, and that right hand just tagged Gooden. Gooden yeah. has got one hell of a chin on him. We're not. Kasanga and I just unloading with a big right hand. Wow, he's rocked. He's wobbly on his feet. Oh! oh. And another big right hand. Kasanga and I Step is in. finishing him. This one is over. Good wow. win for Impa. Wow. Impa, Kasanga and I with the highlight knockout of Jared Gooden. Wow. Beautiful win for Impa. That's what we want to see after being someone else's highlight reel, creating one of your own. And how about the sportsmanship shown as soon as Jared Gooden had his wits about him, which I don't know that he still does. Yeah. Sharing that embrace at the center of the cage, man, because he knows that Kasanganai has been there. Yeah, you're right. And you know what? This is a massive win for Kasanganai. The experience level, the experience difference between these two. 27 twi fights for Jared Gooden, 15 fights for Impa Kasangane. That is a massive difference, and that experience for Gooden really didn't do anything to stop Impa tonight. He was a man on a mission. Absolute, and it was a flurry of punches. The one thing you want to see is fighters follow up. Yeah. What Impa did when he saw that he had him in trouble, he was patient, but when it came time, he unloaded. Yeah, he was relentless. He was ruthless. You know what? I am so thankful that I get to sit here tonight and watch a fight like oh, that. Oh, what a live. fight card. <laughs> yeah, I know. What a fight card. I called it. I said, MMA. that one wasn't going the distance. I'm glad I finally got one right. <laughs> yeah, we didn't think the Hubbard fight would go the distance, but these two guys stepped in. And listen, Jared Gooden was in trouble early in the fight, showed a hell of a chin to be able to get back up on the cage. 
and, and a great job staying in this fight, but Kasanga and I, just too much, too many combinations, wore him down, and he took him out. Let's get it up to Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Jason Collins calls a stop to this contest at three minutes, 16 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by TKO Impa Chilobo Kasangana. What a win by Impa Kasangana. Impa. Man, Impa, you look so amazing tonight. What a performance you put on. I know there's been so much growth in you in the past couple years. I know God has you on this mission for a purpose. How do you feel right now? Man, um, first and foremost, I got to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, right? Like, um, I, uh, there's a lot of people out here from my old gym, right? Jimmo, anybody from Jimmo, thank you for coming, right? And, um, you all know, I mean the whole world to me, but they trusted that I had to come down to Kill Cliff Fight Club, Sanford MMA, and Coach Jones, Dieter, who, Stroud, you know, everybody there. Nick Jones, Dieter, I'm, I'm going to so many coaches, I'm going crazy, but, you know, tra training partners like you who encouraged me to stay in my faith. Like, I, um, it's not so important about what I did in here tonight, but you got to think about, like, everybody's going through something, right? And uh, there are times you really want to give up on your faith, you want to give up on your dreams, you want to give up on what you're called to do. And uh, Coach Jones told me something after my last fight. He says, man, you got to keep your faith no matter what. He says, you got to keep your faith in your coaches and really who God's called me to be. So it's like, that's what I did in here. I really wanted to just throw down like I like to. Yeah. But that's got me knocked out before. So I had to trust my coaches and have faith that discipline was going to work, right? Yeah, well, amen to that. But I mean, you were so composed. I mean, you dropped him. You stayed so patient. You just see the growth in your fighting style and obviously just the man you become. Is there anyone else that you would like to thank? I know all your coaches and everyone who came out to support you tonight. Is there anyone else? Yeah, for sure. Dara, my family, everybody who came out to support. You know, like, um, man, I, XMMA, man, you guys, if you're a fighter out there and you haven't seen an XMMA show, they do everything professionally, right? Like, you, you fight in the UFC, I fought in the UFC too, and so did Jared. This show does everything to a T, and they do everything above and beyond. So I hope you all enjoyed the show. Stay tuned for the main event, right? But just thank you. All right, right on. Give it up for Impa Kasanganai. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.